यू विल रिग्रेट ऑन योर होल एग्जिस्टेंस किम नाम जून दैट अनोन गाय सेट क्लियरिंग एट द बर्निंग पिक्चर वेरी डेंजरसली ही स्मोक बिफोर गोइंग आउट साइड वाई स्टेपिंग द बर्निंग पिक्चर ऑफ नाम जून Nancy was walking back and forth in living room holding crying Wyan in her arms trying to console her from past 30 minutes. "Oh my baby, stop crying now," she said rubbing her back. "Baby, someone cut her off saying, "If you don't mind sister-in-law, can I try to console her?" Nancy looked up and saw Jane was coming downstairs fixing his tie. No doubt, he was looking breathtaking. Well, in this past 2 weeks, Jane tried his best to gain Nancy's hand. Nancy and Nam Jun trust and he did now Nancy was getting along with Jin she forgave Jin thinking that past is the past she has to move on and Nam Jun being Nam Jun he is still don't want to trust Jin in this two weeks Jin tried his best to gain Nam Jun's Nam Jun trust but every time Nam Jun ignored him even he won't allow Nancy to let him come near his daughters but in absence of Nam Jun Jin also getting along with Jisoo and Yn sure oppa she said handing Yn to Jin he took her he took her carefully and started consoling her while Nancy looked both of them with beautiful smile oh mo my baby what happened hmm? are you hungry he said playing with Yn but Nancy's eyes widened when when she saw Yn stop crying and started giggling in Jin's arms Sigh. Well, I knew that she is daddy's girl, but I didn't knew that she is uncle's girl's too. Pout. Oh, sister-in-law, don't be jealous. He said, laughing a little. That's not fair. Pout. After playing with Yn for almost one hour, Jin made her sleep and carefully laid her in her crib, and turned to Nancy, smiling. Smile. Thank you so much, Appa. Oppa. Seriously, sometimes. Sometimes I can't understand her mood swings, you know. She said, laughing a little, scratching her back of me. Chuckle. It's all right, sister-in-law. It. If you need my help, just ask me any time, okay? Don't hesitate. Nancy nodded, smiling. Hmm. By the way, sister-in-law, did you talk to him? He asked, looking down. Nancy sighed sadly before speaking. I did, Oppa, but he is not ready to understand. She looked down. Sai, he is right at his place. After all, I hurted him badly. It's all my fault. But sister-in-law, trust me, I swear I didn't do anything intentionally. I don't know. I was blind that time. He said, looking down in guilt. Nancy feel bad for him and sl- slowly approach him, saying, "I know, Pa. You didn't do anything intentionally." but as you say he is also right at his place he is not ready to understand i tried my best to make him understand the situation he is being stubborn he just don't wanted to talk on that topic oppa oppa he is too much possessive towards us she explained in a low voice staring at jin who was looking down all the time but he looked up immediately when nancy placed her right hand on his shoulder Cursing it gently, giving him a smile. I'm glad that you realize your mistakes, Oppa. Don't worry, I'll try again. I'm sure he will understand this time. Thank you, sister-in-law. Small smile. It's okay, Oppa. Anyways, I have to go now. Jisoo is waiting. Waiting for me, she said, and took Yn from her crib. made her way towards upstairs but she stopped on her spot and turned around when jin said sister in law you forgive me right nancy just nodded with assuring smile and left upstairs towards her room jin smiled widely and also left outside the castle whistling Namjoon and Nancy were cuddling each other in their room. Yn was resting on Namjoon's chest, sleeping peacefully. 
while Jesus sleeping beside Nancy. Nanjun's right hand on Nancy's waist and other one on Wayan's back caressing it gently. They both they both were enjoying each other's company peacefully in silence, but Nancy broke the silence saying, Juni, he hummed in response, Nancy sat straight saying, Let me come directly on the point. June, please forgive. Please forgive Jane Oppa. Nam Jun let out a sigh, saying, Not now, Nancy, please. June, try to understand the situation, please. He didn't did anything intentionally. He was just obsessed with... Obsessed with me that time. Just forget all the things, Juni. Forgive him, please. She said in a pleading voice. Did you forget all the things he did, huh? He even tried to create misunderstanding between us. Remember? Remember, when Jisoo was three months old, he tried to kidnap her and you are telling me to forget everything and forgive him, huh? Are you forgot all the things what he did in the past? He said, placing Y in a bed besides him before sitting straight facing Nancy. And you are telling me that he didn't do anything intentionally, huh? Come on, give me a break. He scoffed at Nancy's words. Nancy looked down for some, some seconds and again looked at Namjoon before saying, I didn't forget anything, June, but we can't stuck in our past, right? We have to move on. Please, Juni, forgive him. He is your brother. Can't you see his efforts? He tried his best to gain our trust. Exactly. Tried to gain our trust just to broke it again, he said, rolling his eyes. No, Juni, I can see in his eyes. This time he is genuinely feel sorry towards us. He is in guilt, Juni, and... And guilt is a not good thing. Even my heart says he changed completely. He is not the old Jin we knew in the past. She said holding Namjoon's head, hands, squeezing it lightly. Please June, puppy eyes. Sigh. I will think about it to forgive him or not. But before I want to talk to him. I want to clear so many things. Nancy's face light up. She jumped on Namjoon's arm hugging him tightly. Thank you, Juni. Chuckle. Ash, don't shout. Babies will awake. Oops, sorry. Namjoon chuckled again at her cuteness, squeezing her hand softly before saying, See, Nancy, again, after clear clearing everything, I am... I am ready to trust him again. If this made you happy, I am ready, because you know that your happiness matters to me. He said, smiling. Do you trust me? Smile. More than myself. Smile. Then nothing will happen. She said, hugging him while he hugged her back. Can we sleep now? He said, yawning. Chuckle. Sure. Dark chuckle. That's good to hear. Yes, that is stupid girl Nancy. Trust me now, thinking I'm changed. I'm not that old Jin. He said laughing. Don't laugh. Jin stopped laughing and looked at him before clearing his throat. What about that Nam Jun? He asked, sipping his wine. I tried my best to gain his trust, but he is such a stubborn ass, not ready to listen. Even I tried to melt him through my, th through my tears, but he ignored me completely, all oh, my precious tears. He said, fake crying. He will melt, trust me. He is your brother. He can't get angry with you for so long. He said in his usual icy cold voice, resting his right leg on his left, sitting like a king on chair. Cough. So long, huh? Dude, it's almost six years. He cut all the relations with me. Hmm, but I have a plan this time. He will forgive you. Cold. What's the plan, dude? He asked, biting the apple. That unknown guy told his plan to Jen. Are you sure it will work? Definitely. Smug. But I don't want to die. Pout. That guy looked at Jen. Jin with his stern expression, saying, Ew, don't forget that you are a vampire and you can't die.
till someone stabbed you in your heart. He said, scoffing. Bro, I'm just sigh. Anyways, I'm going. I have to prepare. Prepare for the plan, he said and stood up from chair, made his way towards exit, leaving that unknown guy smoking widely behind. Live your last few days in peace, Kim Nanjun, cause your worst nightmare is about to come. He laughed evilly before going outside. Everyone sitting in the living room ready to hear Namjoon's answer. Yes, Namjoon and Jin cleared every misunderstanding in between them. Jin want Namjoon's forgiveness. He was patiently waiting to hear Namjoon's answer, who was busy in busy in his thoughts. Maybe he is fighting between his mind and heart, his heart saying to forgive him. After all, he is his young, and his mind says no. What if he do something like that again? On the other hand, Nancy was biting her nails impatiently. She, she glanced her mother-in-law while Namjoon's mom just shrugged her shoulders. But everyone's attention went to Namjoon who stood up from couch followed by others. Are, are you genuine, Hyung? Cause I also... Cause I also don't know what I will do to you if you try to do something like that. Sigh, I know brother, my sin is not forgivable, but Nam Joon, he shouted his lungs out, everyone crashed their eyebrows in confusion when they saw Jin was running towards Nam Joon, but, but the next moment Jin pushed Nam Joon and the whole big red diamond chandelier fell on Jin. Jin groaned in pain and became unconscious. Everyone gasped after looking at the scene in front of them. They all run towards Jin and tried to try to free himself from Big Chandelier. Oh my Jin, she said with her teary eyes. Nam Jung immediately ran towards him and freed him from Chandelier and sat on the floor tapping Jin's cheek slightly. Young, young, open your eyes. Young, unknowingly, the drop of tear fell from his eyes after looking his brother's miserable condition. Nancy sat beside him, pressing his shoulder, tried to calm him. Nancy, Young, open your eyes, teary eyes. He saved me, Nancy. He started crying. Well, this one week was happiest week for Nancy. Yes, Namjoon forgive Jin. And just in a week, they both are get closed. Jin care for Namjoon, same goes to him. They both share really good brotherly bond. And Nancy is happy after. After seeing Namjoon this much happy. Ash, you little kiddo, let your appa go. She said to crying YN who just wanted to go with her appa. Baby, I'll be back soon. Just go to Amma, please. He said, but regret in an in, in instant when Wine started crying more hardly. Oh, no, okay, okay. I will bring you with me too, okay? Now stop crying, please. Wine stop crying and look at her. At her appa with her big doe eyes. Namjoon chuckled and wiped her tears. Sigh, this little brat. Seriously, sometime I'm really jealous of her. She spent more time with you, more than more than me, pout. Namjoon peck her pouty lips before saying, Don't be jealous of your own daughter, big baby. You know that she is daddy's girl, right? Wink. Nancy rolled her eyes saying, Yeah, yeah, I know. Anyway, you wait here, I will bring her milk bottle. She ran towards kitchen and came back holding milk bottle in her hand. Here, Namjoon took the bottle. If she started crying, just feed her, okay? Okay now, I'm going. Take care. He said going outside but he stopped when he heard Nancy's voice. Nancy came and slowly hugged him. Namjoon frowned his eyebrows in. 
I broke in confusion and hugged her back, saying, "What happened?" Hmm? he asked softly. Nancy broke the hug and said with a little smile, "Nothing. I just feel like hugging." Smile. Smile. It's not like that. I will not come back. Namjoon chuckled when Nancy hit his chest lightly. Don't say like that ever again. Pout. I'm just kidding, honey. I'm sorry. Hmm. Now go or else mom will scold you. Will Namjoon mom tell him to do some work outside later related to Jin's wedding? Oh yeah, outside. Why I feel like something bad is going to happen? No, no Nancy, what are you saying? Think positive. Oh god, please take care of my Juni and my daughter. I hope he will come back with Wyan safe and sound. Well, it's time to execute our plan. Our target is out of the castle. He said smoking. After hearing this, that unknown guy cracked his neck and knuckles and stood up from chair. Now, left everything on me. Smug. I just want that little girl. I need to suck her blood. What about Namjoon? He asked, raising his eyebrows. Scoff. Huh? I don't care if he will die. Just remember that. That he is the killer of your family. Smug. I know you don't have to re remind me. Angry tone. I will hand you the, that goal after killing that Namjoon. Just don't forget our deal. Nope. Smile. What about the dog book? Did you find for ritual? Well, yes or maybe no. What do you mean? Cold. Yes, because I found that book is on my mom's locker. And no, because I don't know the keys. Scoff. Just use your little brain sometimes. If that book is in your mom's locker, then obviously she kept keys with her. He said, rolling his eyes. Oh yeah. Laugh. Now go. That guy smoked before hiding the big knife on his jeans and left outside saying,